Hey, it's Pat. And Carolyn. Welcome back. We're uh, vlogging about tonight's episode of So You Think You Can Dance. It's official. We're trying this out. So bear with us. Number one, it's a new show, so we have to work on a new sort of format for everything. Number two, we dealt with Marvita and Fatima on Top Model, but here we've got Gev Marquise Carrington. So if we get the names wrong, oh, well, we're already going to get in trouble with the viewers, but we might get it <laughs> so wrong. So you think you can... Say and spell everyone's name. It's a little difficult, so yeah. bear with us. Yeah. There's 20 dancers. Tonight was the first one. 10 couples, so we're, we'll try to get through them quick. I'm kind of ready um, for somebody to get kicked off, to be honest. Uh, we're right. Cut it down a little bit because our yeah. vlog's going to be long. Okay, first couple right kicking off the whole fourth season was Raven and Jamie. They were doing a hip-hop routine, and uh, they call it Cotton Candy. The judges said it was like Cotton Candy hip-hop. I agree. Mm. Well, it wasn't very exciting. Not really a great way to start the show. Number two, Susie and Mark. Keys doing nice. the smooth waltz. If you notice, I'm having to look at my notes because I can't remember. There's a lot of people to remember. They were awful, boring, same difference. Um, I will say, though, the one good thing about her, she in the beginning, she was kind of like, well, I was about to say ghetto, and I didn't mean She's ghetto. She was, she was urban. like a... Urban. And she looked beautiful. She did look good. Right. She she looked very pretty because she was looking a little hoish and during auditions and like hoish. she should be in Danity Kane. Doesn't she look like Aubrey from Danity oh. Kane? Well, Aubrey's done these days. But yeah. Anyway. anyway, separate vlog. Okay, so <laughs> then we had Courtney and Matt. I love Courtney. Uh, I think she's cool. They did a jazz routine to Tainted Love and they were wearing like leather and it was just kind of, it wasn't great. It was, I don't know. They're tall. Don't forget, she's 5'9 and he's 6'3 or They're something. They're 12 feet. Added up together. Kat Dealey did the math. Very impressed. The next one I was very impressed with, Chelsea. Nope. Chelsea is wrong. That's big from Big Brother. There's Chelsea, a lot of reality shows. I'm telling you, it's a little <laughs> Chelsea and Thane. Thane. Um, Chelsea is awesome. She she rocked it. She, she looks like a celebrity. body is amazing. Mm -hmm. She looked really good. He was a little cheesy. Cheese cheesy. Too much cheese. Anyway, yeah, she's memorable. Good, she's memorable. Yeah, they both did a good thing. They were the first people to get on the hot tamale train. Oh, man, yeah. my favorite. Oh, the poor audio guy that has to run her microphone because she just goes right in and screams every time. Uh, anyway, next That's dance, me. like like what any of us at a given point. All, um, of us. all of us. Uh, next up was Chelsea and Mark, uh, the other Chelsea. There's two Chelseas. And they did a contemporary team to me and Michael's, oh. which is always, like, you know, going to be something cool. And she, Mia called it, like, Tim Burton's wedding. And yeah, it was pretty cool. I mean, she's not going to bust out the big guns with, like, the bench or anything, you know, in the first oh. show. So, oh. But, but it was kind of cool. They were at Courtney, uh, not Courtney, oh, they're all the same. Chelsea, <laughs> Chelsea and Mark were, were pretty good. They're both interesting. Next, I really liked, we disagreed a little bit, was Carrington and Twitch. And just seeing Twitch, I remember him from yeah. last season, and then seeing him totally bust out with this different style. Broadway. And she's the youngest one on the show. She's a senior in high school, missed her high school graduation. Yeah. She looked like a celebrity. Yeah, she, she was cool. Twitchington, they called themselves. Oh, yeah, Twitchington. Yeah, so uh, I didn't think it was that, like, Super, but it was cool. It was good to see them do that. Um, next up was Comfort and Chris. Comfort, she's like all personality. She's the hip hop dancer. She's she's good. I think she's gonna have to be a little careful not to get too cocky. It's good to always be positive, but she was a little like she wasn't that great doing the jive. She so. kind of looked like a turtle, actually. A she, turtle. Yeah, she would be like. <laughs> well, it's good for hip hop. Oh. Yeah. That's what it was. She was and wearing she her bra and her bra and her panties and her beads. Okay, Broadway right. and Beats. All right, she, next up. She, can't blame her, though. She was, she was pretty good for I'm excited about the point. next up. Best uh, of the night. By far best of the night, Katie and Josh. Not necessarily because they're They did the hip-hop to Jordan Sparks, yep. like going off to war. And Chris Brown, that, that music. Oh, yeah. Song. Can't leave my boy's Sorry, Chris Brown. Um, It was amazing. From the very end when they switched, she got on his jacket, and the the, the partner did I don't know. Yeah, I, he, she, like, flung him up from the floor. Oh, I mean, awesome. I wasn't excited for Katie either. I didn't really think she was going to be that no. great. She did a really awesome job. That I was had chills, the best by far. Chills at the end of the night. I thought it was really good. Yeah, very really memorable. Cool. Very timely. Yeah. Unfortunately, following the best of the night was like one of the most boring was the tango with Jessica and Will. And it wasn't actually that boring, but I feel like er anyone that gets a, oh. like the waltz or the tango is at a real big disadvantage because everybody likes the hip hop routines. They like the yeah. salsa, the really up and exciting one. So when you get a slower one, it's like you got to do a really awesome job to wow everybody. So yeah. I have a feeling they might be in the bottom third yeah. because it wasn't that great. It wasn't great. Last was Courtney and Give. Give. Jeff, Ge Gev. Gehave. 
from Kazakhstan. Uh, he's, he's the one that was ice skating. He was cute. He was decent. She was beautiful. It was so lame. They had their disco. On. Disco's disco another out. one. You have to do... Disco's like so cheesy in the first place. You have to be like amazing to not be like, oh, it's cheesy disco. And yeah. they were, you know, they kind of fell into it. Best of the night. And my obviously Katie and Josh for me. Amazing. I, I really liked... Um, I liked Thane and Chelsea, even though they were cheesy. The Their uh, cha-cha, I thought it was good. So I, I think they'll be one of the best. And I liked Twitch and Karen because I really like them both. Good personalities. Yeah, bottom three, I think the tango dance with, what is their name? So many cheats right now. Jessica and Will. I think they're going to be in the bottom. Um, I also think that disco people, they're just so boring. And yeah. leather people, I know you like that chick. Courtney, too. Courtney, I think she's great. Courtney oh. and Matt, the 12 feet of giant dancers. I think they're good, but, uh, well, I don't know. They might be in the bottom, but people seem to like Courtney, so... She are you guys excited, though? Are you excited about it? I yeah. We're excited. We're excited. All right. Sorry this was a little bit long, but we had a lot of people to get through. We'll streamline it next week. Cut some people. Okay. We'll see you then. Okay. Later.